Hello Virgos. So this is a reading that I'm going to do for you guys for the first two weeks of November. So I'm going to do the shuffling and lay out the cards on camera. I'm going to see if you guys like it that way. Okay. And if you do like it, definitely comment so I can know. Okay. So I'm going to start with the Romance Angel, the Oracle, and then I'm going to get to the Tarot. Give me a three card spread. What's going on in Virgo's love life for November the 5th to the 15th, 2019? Give me a three card spread. What's going on in Virgo's love life for November the 5th? Okay. So, separation. Give me two more cards. What's going on in Virgo's love life from November the 5th to the 15th, 2019? Can you express your love? Give me one more card. What's going on with Virgo Love Life? For November the 5th. Calling your soulmate. Okay, so this is what I'm pretty much getting. Um, I'm getting that you guys are separating from someone else to be with someone else, okay? Um, you separate from someone to be with someone else. And you feel like this is someone that's much better for you. Okay, and you going to express that to the person that you was dealing with before, and you are going to express to the other person who you want to be with that you want to be with them. Okay, that's what I'm pretty much getting. Okay, this person might be an earth sign, the new person might be an earth sign because I'm getting a lot of like green brown colors. Okay, and probably you're leaving out a um you're leaving out a fire sign probably okay so a z of sagittarius or vice versa by the opposite way okay give me a two card spread for virgos give me a two card spread for virgos give me a two card surrendering yeah i feel like a lot of you guys are letting go of something you're letting go give me one more card what's going on Give me one more card for Virgos. 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 They don't want to give me a note. I'm joking. <laughs> but it's taking forever. <laughs> Okay, give me one more card for Virgos. 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 Okay, finally. So I got embracing the change. Yeah, okay. And then I got love-based reality. You're following your truth. You're following your heart. I feel like a lot of you guys are leaving someone out in the cold. Um, you're letting go of someone. You're surrendering to that situation um, because you want something new. And this is based on your truth, okay? Based on your understanding of love, okay? That's what I'm pretty much getting. Because I feel like the person she was dealing with was basically not there, okay, for you when you needed them. Emotionally unpresent, you know, they was um, unavailable to you. So the connection can never got into a deep level where it could have been. Because if you look at this card, it got a lot of deep blues a lot of deep um colors into it so i feel like this person did have depth and the connection could have went really deep however like i feel like this person this person was not wanting to go there okay 
And I feel like you are going to separate from them completely and you're going to move on with someone who is your soulmate for you, who's open to give and receive. Like their heart chakra is not blocked. They're willing to um, reciprocate with you, okay? That's what I'm pretty much getting. So these cards are already pre-shuffled, okay? So give me a five card spread. What's going on in Virgo's so life? for november the 5th to the 15th 2019 yeah see you're walking away you're walking away feeling confident that you're making the right decision again i'm getting like you're walking away probably from a fire sign aries and sagittarius or walking to aries and sagittarius give me four of my cards what's going on in virgo's love life for november the 5th to the 15th 2019 give me four of my cards What's going on with Virgo's love life for November the 5th? Yeah, you yeah, you're not even feel like you're doing the wrong thing. You feel like this is the right thing for you. You're not stressing over your decision of walking away. Give me a few more cards. What's going on in Virgo's love life for November the 5th to the 15th, 2019? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so the Virgo side had to come out. <laughs> I feel like you are confident. You gotta be confident. However, the Virgo side, you being very anal, um, being being very analytical, now you're second guessing yourself. Okay, I'm gonna see why. Give me two more cards. What's going on in Virgo's love life for November the fifth to the fifteenth, two thousand nineteen? Okay. Okay. See, something is coming to the close too. Okay. So, Cancer had similar reading. They're ready for something new. So, you guys might be done with a Cancer or. But some like a new cast is gonna come in your life. Give me one more card. What's going on in Virgo's life life for October the 5th, 2015, 2019? Empress in the first five of wands. Mm. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Okay, when you thought about releasing them, here, here they come. Okay, when you thought like, okay, I'm done, like, I'm not going to give to the situation, I surrender to this. Okay, I'll wash my hands. This is when they want to return, and that's why you feel conflicted, because you were sure of your decision, but when this person come back, now you like have to reevaluate, are you making the right choice? Are you making the right decision, I mean? And it's bringing up old feelings and all that type of stuff, so it's making you be cloudy and the thing with confusion when you're confused you can't move forward okay and at least it's that and same um and i feel like that's the main reason why this person's coming back because they are being kind of mani manipulative they know that like if they come back it's going to prevent them prevent you from fully moving on okay however i do got the world and the five of swords in the verse so i feel like it's gonna end there's gonna be something that's gonna end that was toxic or was not healthy wasn't for your highest benefit um highest benefit it's going to end and i do got the empress in the verse and the five of wands this person may try to <laughs> prevent you from doing that but it will okay i feel like this person may try to do that so let's clarify the six swords in the verse clarify six swords in the verse Clarify six swords in the verse. Clarify six swords in the verse. Six of wands in the verse. This is someone, yeah, this is someone who constantly proves you wrong, constantly. <laughs> Every time. Clarify six of wands in the verse. Clarify six of wands in the verse. Okay. Will fortune in the verse. Yeah, this is someone who caused a lot of bad, sh bad crap, bad stuff. Um, they're coming back around. Now, this is Mercury Retrograde, so is expected this is sextile to scorpio so you guys are going to be affected especially if you have a moon in scorpio a heavy placement in scorpio okay um this person's coming back another reason why they're coming back is because they don't have no other options okay so it's not even sincere clarify seven cups in reverse clarify seven cups in reverse clarify seven, seven cups in reverse the two of swords of fool yeah like this person like they they want to start something new, but like they're not even sure for sure if they want to start something new with you. And I feel like they don't have that much options, okay? And I don't feel like it's really genuine. 
Okay, clarify the five of swords in reverse in the world. Clarify the five of swords in reverse in the world. Clarify the five of swords in reverse in the world. The judgment in reverse. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys are not gonna give them a second chance. Clarify the judgment in reverse. Yeah, you're not because you're disappointed by them. They deplete you emotionally and you're letting it go. You're letting it just close out. But I feel like they are gonna try to, <laughs> they're gonna try to block you, okay? Clarify the five of wands and the infants in the verse. The three of swords in the verse. Yeah, because they're going to pretend like they want to heal it. They feel like they can heal it. Clarify the three of swords in the verse. Clarify the three of swords in the verse. The three of wands. They're still waiting on you. Clarify the three of wands. Yeah, they want to apologize. They want to apologize to you. Clarify, um, let's look at this. Clarify um, the Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Oops, a lot of cards. Let's see. So I got the Ace of Cups in the verse. So, um, Pi I said Pisces. Um, what's going on? Cancers, they got the same card as a clarify in the same position. So, again, I feel like you guys are going to be dealing with the Pisces. Um, I say Pisces again. It could be Pisces or a Cancer. Um, but what I'm pretty much seeing, yeah, you're walking away from them. You're confident of your decision. You don't have no more emotions left for them, okay? And because of you realizing that you don't have a strong emotion for them, you're walking away. All right. Clarify the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Oh, these cards keep falling. The seven swords so yeah i feel like they are trying to prevent this cycle from fully ending but it's ending um they're gonna try their hardest to not make it end but it's still gonna happen that's by the seven swords clarify the seven of swords so yeah i feel like this person um they're still going to fight their way clarify the seven swords their page source. So they've been watching you. They want to see what you've been up to. <laughs> okay. Um, they want to talk to you with the Herman in the verse. They do. Clarify the nine swords in the verse. Clarify nine swords in the verse. Clarify nine swords in the verse. Five cups in the verse. Yeah, because you're not, you don't, I don't feel like you really care that much about the situation anymore. Okay. Clarify five cups in the verse. Eight swords in the verse. Yeah, you're not, and the communication was not good. Clarify the eight swords in the verse. Clarify the eight swords in the verse. The page of cups. You want something new, and I feel like you're going to go after that. Okay? Okay, right, clarify separation. Clarify separation. Ten of cups in the verse. So this is someone that you may have kids with. Or you thought that you want to have kids with this person, but you're separating from them. Clarify, express your love. The chariot. Yeah, you're moving on. You're moving forward. And again, I feel like it's with, probably with the cancer. Clarify, calling in your soulmate. Oh. But I do got the strength card. So probably the person that you're going to be connecting with um, is going to be a cancer Leo Cups. This person going to be born the last week of July. So from, um, from July... 17 to um, July 25th, July 27th, those time, okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like this person that you are going to connect, be connected with is someone who's going to be loyal to you, someone who is actually going to show that they have, um, that they have um, longevity in a relationship, okay? Again, this is someone who's going to show feelings to you. It's not going to be concealed. Okay, because the strength card represents Leo, Leo rule the heart. And when a Leo's in love, they really show it. Okay, and they do anything. So again, I feel like you guys want to be with someone like that. Okay, um, but yeah, that's the reading that I got for you, Virgos. Okay, so I'm seeing that you're basically moving on, but someone is going to try to fight you. <laughs> okay, we're moving on, but I'm still seeing that you're going to go what is meant for you. Okay. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.